Hi friends, Dr. Amanda Smith here. Uh, two years ago, I created a video about a silent auction I put together using Google Forms and uh, Google Sites when I was becoming a certified Google trainer, and I'm still getting questions on it, so I wanted to do a more in-depth training. So first we started with just a Google Site. Uh, you can use whatever web page your school district uses. And um, on the website, we placed a bidder sheet for the participants to fill out, and then we had our items. You can have as many items as you want. Back in Google and Google Drive, we just had one folder. And so our bidder sheet was a Google form, and we just asked for their name, phone number, address. You can ask for more information if you need it, but we just needed the basic information to know how to contact them, and we did not want their phone number and address out on the main bidding site. And then each item we had, and these are just made up items, like a washer board. We used a Google form. And when you do a Google form and you go into your responses, you have a Google sheet where all the responses goes to. So we took the link to share it. And if you're within a school district, make sure you change it to anyone can view. And of course, it's going to take forever to load. So we have anyone can view, we copied that link from the spreadsheet and we put it back into the Google form. So this link right here is to the spreadsheet. And the reason we did that is so that when they're viewing it, it says view the bid sheet to see highest bidder. So when they click there, they see the spreadsheet, who is uh, bidded so far and what the bids are. Let me close some of these extra windows now. And so we put a picture, put the amount, the starting amount. Um, when we did this in real life, we had a cute little blurb about who had donated, um, who we wanted to recognize. We actually had the picture with the kids showing it off. And then they just put their name, their price, and then again I said, make sure you've checked the bidding sheet. And then they submit. And once they submit, they can submit again and again, and they can keep coming back. And so all of this is on the one website. And we published the website, you know, on our school Facebook page. We sent home reminds. We sent home Class Dojo and Seesaws. And so the night of the event, they came, they clicked, filled out their bidder sheet. And then at the time, um, they just started bidding. And so, like I said, they click on it, see who the bidder is, and we made sure this was view only. Now, since I'm the owner, it does not look view only to me, but we made it view only. They looked at it, they made their bid, they closed out, they came back and did the next one. And you can have as many items or as few items as you want. There's the picture, bidder name, bidder price, submit. I believe we had five different items. And we did not concern ourselves with payment. I'm not really sure how you could do payment unless you set up maybe a Venmo or something. And then um, within the Google form, let me go back in, you can turn responses off. So accepting responses. So when we said, okay, the bidding is over at seven, our assistant principal sat there and went through and turned all of them off at seven. And then we went through and found who the largest bidder was. So. I don't remember how we opened it, or we may have just opened it um, at any point. I don't remember. Um, if you're worried about them accessing the auction form too soon. But yes, if you have any questions on how to set all this up, make sure and go under settings. And like right now, it's still restricted to our school district. Make sure you take that off. And then I just went under the send, got this link and copied it, and then went back into our web page and linked it here. And that was the easiest way. And then the parents or whoever bid just came to the school and paid when they picked up their item. If you have any other questions, I'll leave my email in the comments. I hope this helps.